Now, brace yourselves, everyone. He's created the crazy comical characters Borat, Bruno, and Ali G. Please welcome actor, writer, producer, Sasha Baron Cohen. I'm going to be honest, we didn't know what to expect when you came yeah. out. We weren't sure. Neither did I. What do you mean when I came out? When you came out right. of the yeah. door. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, am, yeah. I am gay. <laughs> Congratulations. But you, you know what's so funny? We saw you and your wife, Isla Fisher, yes. at the Oscars. I saw you on the red carpet. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. You handsome devil, you gorgeous. man. And she is gorgeous. She's beautiful. And I asked She's you... She's not my taste. No, <laughs> I didn't like the redhead thing. Uh, yeah. But when I saw you on the red carpet, something told me to just ask you. I said, you're a presenter tonight. Yes. Are you going to present as you are now? Are you going to become, you know, going to do some hijinks? And yes, you said, that's right. oh, this is a very serious affair. Yeah. And I will be my... And then you came out as Ali G. Yes, that was right. So where was Ali G hiding? So, uh... <laughs> I love Ali G so much. So basically, the Ali G costume was hidden under my wife's dress. So she smuggled it in. Are you kidding no, me? No, seriously. And then basically I was, the Oscar said, you know, you have to present this as Sasha. It has to be very straight. And, you know, in a land from far away down to a tiny room where a mother and son, you know. That kind of thing. <laughs> and they said, are you going to gonna do what we said? I go, of course I am. Of course I am. It's me. And then, uh, so we knew I had to get the beard on. Right. So, and put the, all the stuff on. And so me and Isla sort of snuck into uh, a bathroom on the side of the stage for 40 minutes right. to actually get the beard on. Now, Hollywood is the only place in the world where a man and a woman can disappear into a toilet for 40 minutes without anyone asking any questions. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. You know, what I, here's what I love about Isla. She doesn't mind smuggling a costume under her dress. Yes. There's these, uh, there are actresses out there that do body wraps and they shrink themselves yeah, and exactly. they refuse to have a lump. She's yeah, there are people who remember move hair from under their body. She actually added a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I just love it so much. But did you yeah. get any, did you see anybody before you went out who said, oh my gosh, look at, yeah. no, so I had the beard. I uh -huh. came out of the bathroom and there was the, my publicist was outside going, he's got a terrible stomach. He's got a terrible stomach. Right. And then I get out, I had the beard, I sort of covered myself. Then I got to the side of the stage and Olivia Wilde was there. And I said, Olivia, Listen, I'm doing Ali G. I put on the hat, I go tuck my hair in and put my glass on. And she was totally she was cool. Game. She was game. And we went out and we did it. Basically. You're lucky that she, she didn't panic and yes, have yeah, no, hands and Yes, yeah, no, she was super cool. Yeah, that's great. But we, we've watched all your movies and you do, you, you do some things, man. You, you let yourself go there. Have you ever been worried about getting arrested? Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Have you been no, arrested? Every, well, every day... Uh, not in this country. In yeah. <laughs> I mean, on Borat, we had 85 instances where law enforcement agencies tried to apprehend me. So we had uh, different police departments. We had the FBI. Uh, we had Homeland Security. But I did in uh, Milan, I got arrested for at the beginning of Bruno. I accidentally got, I was wearing a Velcro suit mm -hmm. and I get, got caught up and fell onto a catwalk accidentally and they uh, they took me into a police station they knew that I was in town so they brought in extra police to right. stop me getting onto the catwalk and I'm wearing this velcro suit and they're interrogating me and they go what happened I go yeah I go you know I woke up this morning I was just wearing a velcro suit I got stuck to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they go, what's your name? I go, Sasha Baron Cohen. They typed it in and goes, wait a minute. And he brought in 12 other cops. All the cops came in. And they were upset because they brought in extra security to stop me doing anything. And they said, wait a minute, take off the suit. And I go, why? They go, take it off. You might have something underneath it. So I start taking it off. They go, take off the trousers. I took off the trousers. I'm in my underpants. And they go, take them off. I go, why? They go, you might have a gun in there. <laughs> I go, I go, I'll take that as a compliment, but I don't. <laughs>
I've got to ask you, of all of your characters that you play, who is your favorite? Who is the most uh, your alter ego come to life? Well, listen, I love them all. They're all reprehensible characters in some way. You know, Borat's the most lovable of them all, but yet yeah. he's a disgusting person, really. <laughs> but, but the new character, Nobby, actually is the yeah. guy who's most lovable because he's a family guy. It's a story about he's lost his brother. And I know it sounds unbelievable, but it is actually a family film. Admittedly <laughs> for a very strange families, but it is a family film. Yeah, good, perfect. But we we got to take a quick break, man. We come back, we're going to talk to you about what it's really like hanging out with the Kardashians because they had a chance to check out your new movie, The Brothers Grimsby. So we're going to be right back with Sasha Baron Cohen, everybody. To seduce her in order to find out what Lukashenko bought from her husband. Okay. Can you see Lena Smith? She's easy to spot. She's wearing a green dress and she's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. That was the Brothers Grisby. That is Sasha Baron Cohen. And you play Nobby. That's your character, Nobby. That's Nobby, that's now, right. Now, what can you tell us about the film? Well, it's basically a kind of, you have a James Bond character played by Mark Strong, and I play his brother who's from the north of England, who's on welfare, he's got nine kids, and he's a football hooligan. And he drinks quite a lot and does a tiny bit of heroin. I mean, a safe amount. Right. A safe amount. Safe amount. Yeah. Right. We should point that out. Yeah, exactly. Because it is a family film. It is a family but film, long, yeah. But it's his long-lost twin brother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his long-lost brother, and they haven't seen each other for 30 years. And it's basically, it's quite an emotional story of them getting back together on the run, but uh, some crazy stuff happens. So I keep hearing about, there's a scene uh, with, involving a, 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 an elephant that has been yes. described as unforgettable yes. and uh, gross. Um, <laughs> what is it? Uh, can you I tell can't, us what I can't happens? tell you about it, but um, <laughs> I did, I mean, I showed it to an audience on Kimmel. The MPAA, Motion Picture Association, banned us from showing it on any TV station in the world. But uh, <laughs> I showed it to the audience at Kimmel, and we shot them, and I also showed it to the Kardashians. And what did they think? The other, they uh, loved it, actually. They loved really? it. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Basically, oh, they are with the Kardashians. Yeah. Really so I know Courtney Cox, and I said to her, "Listen, I really want to show this movie to a normal American family." <laughs> and, and she brought around oh, the good. Kardashians. A very average American. Yes, yes exactly. Good. That's so good. Uh, the thing was, unfortunately, Kanye West's Uber took him to the wrong address, <laughs> and he ended up on the street for an hour. Um, until so he, he missed the screening? No, no, no. I ended up picking him up. And <laughs> okay. him but I'm just curious. When you, when you showed it to the Kardashians, they loved it. When you show it to the studio, and some of these things, like we, we can't talk about the elephant scene or anything right. like that, yeah. do they say, are you out of your mind? Yeah. They do. They, I think there's the moment of what the hell have we done? You know, we yeah. thought you weren't going to shoot that bit. It's so funny that I would think a film company, like when they hear your name, they know what they're signing yes, up for, yeah. yet they're still somehow surprised. Yes, they regret it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to uh, say one thing. If, uh, if you're not familiar with Ali G, my favorite ever uh, interview was with you and... Uh, and Victoria Beckham and David Beckham. Oh, yes. Yeah, and yeah. I just have to say, like, if you haven't seen that, please Google it. It is my favorite thing to yeah. watch. I've watched it conservatively 200,000 times. Well, there's a line I remember as LNG, I go, you know, so tell me, does your child, does he want to grow up to be a footballer like his dad or a singer like Mariah Carey? <laughs> <laughs> and her answer was so good, yes, too. Yes. She, she good, said nothing. Yes. <laughs> she said nothing. <laughs> well, you are, we can't wait to see this movie, man. And it, it is The Brothers Grimsby. It opens this Friday, March 11th. Make sure you go check it out if you want to laugh, everybody. Sasha Baron.